today I had an interview with Nikki from Nikki and James and she was asking me about staying in El Salvador if we had long-term plans so actually I want to ask the husband what are your plans like do we have long-term plans for El Salvador every time we make long-term plans something in the world happen and we need to replan so I'm kind of done doing long-term plans it's kind of what I told her, like we're very nomadic, but what I did tell Nikki is that for me right now, it's very important to be in El Salvador because El Salvador really is a beacon of hope. And El Salvador, it is, if this works, if Bukele's plans work, El Salvador will definitely deserve its name of the savior. So it's important for us to be here right now and fight for freedom, fight for for Bitcoin, you know? This is it. This is like- There is a horse there. Oh, a horse. Can I go see a horse? Let's go see a horse. Welcome to El Salvador, where you uh, see horses on the street. I don't know, let's go see. I also see there perhaps mariachi. I don't know, sometimes I see mariachi. Even though we're not in Mexico, we sometimes see mariachi on the street. So what I was saying is- You saw is... them here too, no? Yeah, the yeah, mariachi, yeah. yeah. Oh no, the horse is just wandering around. We see cows too. So this is a real life experiment right here and we're super excited about it. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Hola. This is the back of the community where we live right now. There's a horse just walking around. Let's see. I'm not sure how friendly horses are, so I don't know. It's like, it's on a mission, man. Look at that. Hmm. I mean, this horse looks like it knows where it's going. You know, it doesn't have the usual horse things that horses have, you know, like on top, which I'm honestly kind of glad because my understanding in that is that the things that you put on horses is actually very hurtful to them because the, the thing like that they have over their mouth, that's like a break for the horse. So when you're like riding a horse and you need to stop the horse, you pull it, but it really hurts their teeth. So I'm glad to see that this horse is just, you know, Living the life in paradise. Come to El Salvador where even horses live life in paradise. Hola. Hola, Milton. Buenas tardes. Tu sabe por qué un caballo está aquí? Tu... ¿De un señor de allá son? Ah, por allá viven los caballitos esos. Milton, ¿tú quieres hablar con YouTube? He said, oh, YouTube. Hola, YouTube. Ok. Hola, YouTube. <laughs> Gracias. Gracias. That is our man Milton. He is the one who keeps us safe around here. He's the one who makes sure that only the right people come into the club. I don't know. He's the one that makes sure that only the members come in and stuff like that. So, love you, Milton. Anyway, let me show you guys the clubhouse of where we live. So, there are restaurants here. So, you could come and hang out at the restaurant. They have different pools. This is the kiddies pool, and there's over there like the adult pool. There's always a fiesta going on here, some salsa playing all the time. You guys are always asking me about my kids and how we're integrating them into the culture. My nanny just started teaching my daughter salsa and she loves it. I can't guys, like I'm, people think I'm from Brazil and I know how to dance. I don't. Guys, this right here, this is literally our backyard. Like, this is my backyard. How insane is this? Francesco has a little career in, in El Salvador now. He became a life coach, specifically for Salvadorians, right? The other day we were at Price Mart. Price Mart is the Salvadorian Costco. And we were at the checkout lane waiting for Francesco. And then I'm like waiting and waiting and waiting. Finally, I go after him and he's literally life coaching. One Was he like one of the people that works at the Price bakery, Mart? Bakery. Yes. He was literally life coaching somebody. From the, and listen, like people are super receptive. 
people are here for Francesco's free life coaching. So if you're a Salvadorian needing life coaching, Francesco will hook you up. But listen, I just want to say this. I'm kind of angry, honestly, because I can't believe that El Salvador has been here all these years and I didn't know about it. You know, I feel like there was a party and I didn't know about it. Paradise has been here all along and I had no clue, you know? The only mistake we made in moving to El Salvador was not moving here sooner because this place is beautiful. This place is amazing. You know, even when we were doing research to move here and we were Googling things, there was like not one positive thing about this country in the interrupts. All lies, you know? I'm so glad that we took a chance that we decided, well, first of all, that we were smart enough to understand that mainstream media is fake news and that we took a flight, came here, boots on the ground, we studied this place and we just decided to move here because this place is so beautiful, so amazing. And I'm just so excited that I get to be here in this time because I really feel like I'm making history, right? Like I'm actually helping Salvadorians. And like I said before, if Bukele plans works, then like humanity saved. And I'm super excited. I'm super excited to be here. And this place is paradise. This place is beautiful. These people are amazing. These people are so nice. I can't like freaking out you guys. I like honestly, I'm so angry that the news have not done justice to, justice to this place because it's not fair. It's not fair for the people here. Um, this place is amazing. It's freaking paradise. <sighs> anyway, that is it, you guys. El Salvador is really is freaking paradise. It's amazing here. You should move here. If you're not living here yet, just come. Seriously, you're not gonna regret it. This place is amazing. I'm curious to know if there's been a person who has moved here and regret their decision. <laughs> I don't know. Do you know anybody? No. This place is... There's heaven on earth. This is it right here. Anyway, catch you next time. Ciao. I have a thing with garbage. Like, being from Brazil and then moving to the United States where people like throw away good stuff in the garbage. <laughs> I've been from day one living in the United States, a dumpster. I was a dumpster diver before it was cool to be a dumpster diver. And that garbage looks pretty cool. And I really want to check it out, but Francesca is giving me the look right now. Looks interesting. Should I go check it out? I'm gonna... just, I just want to see. My love, come on. I just want to see. My love. Look, look, look. Now that the jug of water, it's hard to get another one. We could just get it. Come on. Oh my god! You're no fun! This is the panoramic view. No, I'm gonna be you and your cinematic. Of the moon. Where is the moon? I lost the moon. Where is the moon?